First question is from Chris FTW8. Besides saving time, what are the benefits of supersets? Supersets. All right. So first, let's define that. Right. A superset. Typically, the way that that is defined is you take two exercises and you do them back to back with very minimal rest. So you don't rest in between. You do one exercise and switch next right to the next one, and that's called a superset. There's a couple different ways you could do them. The most popular way to do it is for the same muscle group. So two exercises for chest or two exercises for back and so on. There's other different ways to combine them. And then a less popular way would be doing two opposing muscle groups, biceps, triceps, or chest and back is the most popular. Right? So what are the benefits? When you do the same muscle group, you do get a better pump. You are able to squeeze out more reps. And part of the reason for this is you're changing the angle and the exercise. Now, you, could you accomplish something similar by lightening the load of the exercise you just finished and doing it again? You could, but then you miss out on the benefit of changing the angle and the tension uh, and you know just the different stimulus you get on muscles. Supersets are present in a lot of our MAPS programs in at least one of the phases because, uh, in our opinion, there's a ton of value. So I think they're great. Don't get stuck on them, though. Your body tends to adapt, and they stop working. But in short periods of time, like three to four weeks at a time, I think they're freaking awesome. Oh, it's also a really quick and easy way to increase uh, intensity and volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I think what you said is the most important part. Um, I remember when I first found these and started doing supersets, and then I got stuck in this routine of like doing them in every workout because mm -hmm. you're increasing intensity and you're increasing volume. So you're going to probably get a bit a better pump. You're probably going to be sore than you've, you're used to being the, mm -hmm. the next workout. You might even see some gains that you haven't seen in a while. And so that part of it becomes addicting. And then all of a sudden you start doing every workout with all these supersets. I think uh, anybody that's trained supersets is probably a fall victim to this mm -hmm. also, is that you you do that and you're like, oh shit, this is amazing. So yeah. you just start doing it all the time. So it's a tool like anything else. Um, I think it's an incredible tool. I like to typically use it now when I'm crunched for time. So like when I have a, a short amount of time, I'm not going to get a full hour, hour and a half. It's not like a nice workout. A good way to keep the volume the same with the shorter. That's right. Yeah. Right. I could literally do the, the same amount of volume I do in an hour workout. I just now cut it down 30 because I'm basically supersetting every exercise. Um, and because I do it infrequently like that, it's, it, my body recognizes it as like a nov as a novelty, and then it responds really well to yeah. it. Versus if I trained every workout like that, uh, it would have less less value. Now, yeah, Ju Justin, I was going to ask you with okay. athletics mm -hmm. because they use supersets, but differently, right? And you're the sports guy. They'll typically call them what? Not, is it complexes or what's the term that they'll use when you? Yeah, like complexes. So a lot of times you'll see these with kettlebells, or you see with like barbells or dumbbells, mm -hmm. and, and it's. It's basically they use it more as a way to get through some like tough, like full body, like compound lift kind of movements uh, and to perform that like in almost like a circuit fashion. Mm. Uh, but but again, we're just shortening the rest in between each one of these types of exercises. And so it's trying to get you to be able to go at that kind of an intensity and sustain that kind of an intensity for a little bit longer amount of time, just like you would if you're going harder uh, and performing in, in the game. Yeah. And it, and it gives you, you're going to get more um, strength stamina or strength endurance. So there's maximal strength and there's strength endurance, uh, which allows you to exhibit this strength for maybe more reps. Once you go too far, then of course it just becomes straight endurance. Here's a couple of my favorite ways uh, to use supersets. And I do, I'll do a superset based workout these days, probably maybe three times a month. And it's usually when I am crunched for time. And so it is very novel for me and I get a great workout when I do it. But some of my favorite ways to do it are, one of them is a pre-exhaust method where I'll do a single joint isolation exercise for muscle and then go straight to a compound lift. And I learned this from... Hmm. Mike Menser's heavy duty book. And this is what a way that he was, you know, he, he said it was a great way to get a muscle to fail, a major muscle to fail without, you know, worrying about the, these kind of helper muscles failing first. So for example, you do like a cable fly to failure, then go straight to a bench press. So what you do is you pre-exhausted the chest, then you go to the bench press. Now you, now you're using the, the delts and the triceps uh, to help you out. And man, does it build up uh, strength, stamina and give you a crazy pump. And if you're really, if you really like pain and you want to work on your legs, try pre-exhausting your quads before squats. Like try sissy Ugh. squats and then squats or leg extensions and then squats 
freaking gnarly, but I swear to God, it blows up your quads so big uh, during that workout. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.